Hello and welcome to PC Michigan Tech Help Show and happy Labor Day! In celebration of Labor Day, I decided not to do my hair this morning, and you guys thought it was ridiculous before, but I think I have it topped. At least, as of right now. We're going to move forward with the How to Make Money Blogging with WordPress series today, and we're going to go over something a little less complicated than the previous videos. So I hope you enjoy. Today's video starts at my website, PCMichiana.com, and we're going to go to the download section. I'm going to teach how to install a plugin today. Now we're going to be installing multiple plugins when we're setting up our WordPress site. Just scroll down under the web, free web design tool section and select, um, oh, here we go, plugin, all-in-one SEO. I'm going to make a separate section for these uh, later on, but right now just select that. Of course, it'll bring you to the WordPress.org website, and on the right-hand side, go ahead and download version 1.6.12.1 or whatever version's available when you come to my site. I'm going to install it to my desktop or download it to my desktop. Just click Save. Okay, once the download's complete, it looks like it's really small, which is normal for plugins. Just go to your dashboard on your website, which is your local horse, local, local horse, local host, my first blog, and WP admin, like we've done in the previous videos. And this time we're going to go to the section called plugins. And this part's actually gotten really easy with WordPress over the past couple of years. It used to be that you'd have to manually install them, but now all you have to do is click add new. And then here, select upload, because this will actually let you search for plugins right here. But go ahead and select uploads. Choose a file. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to select the WordPress. Nope, that's actually my WordPress. We're going to select the all-in-one SEO pack. Select install now. Installing. Plugin install it successfully. See how easy that was? Now just activate the plugin. Now it says all-in-one SEO pack must be configured. Go to the admin page to enable and configure the plugin. So most of the time when you install a plugin, it shows up under the settings, or if there are settings or tools. Nope, this one's under settings, all in one SEO. So now this has added search engine optimization functionality to your website. This is the best search engine optimization plugin for YouTube, I'm sorry, for WordPress, that's basically available. Now, uh, though some of you may be wondering what the whole point of search engine optimization is, is this will basically make your entire WordPress site and every post you make after that and every category section you make and literally anything you add to your site friendly for websites such as Google and Yahoo search and all those. So this is an amazingly powerful plugin and this is what you must have before even starting to make blog posts so that all of your stuff can be optimized for those search engines before you even start writing. So let's go ahead and scroll down and say we want it to be enabled. Now the home title, that's gonna be the description that shows up actually right at the top of your bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my first blog. Usually it's a generic title of whatever the name of your website is. Description, this actually isn't gonna show, um, this actually isn't gonna show up right on your home page. This is actually gonna show up in the background and this is how Google sees your description. So I'll just say this is an example of my first blog. Of course, you're gonna be as detailed as you can here on what exactly is included in your blog and do not lie because that will actually make it worse. Google can usually always tell. Home keywords, now a keyword is basically summarizing what your website is without uh, using words like the and is and an and like descript like on descriptive words of and my. So we would say something like example, first blog, uh, something like technology, tutorial videos, and things like that. And that, those are just a couple example the examples of these are keywords that people might type into a search engine that would describe your site. And again, be as detailed as you can with those and don't repeat words more than once. So if like first blog is in one word, you don't want to say first technology in the other one because you've already used the word first and Google sees the word first already. So it will actually take first and apply it to the beginning of technology. It, it knows what that word needs to be included in everything else. Go ahead and leave these two checked out, checked off because we want our uh, URLs to be reorganized and we also want to rewrite the titles. Now, this is actually, uh, it looks more complicated than it really is, but this tells, you're telling your uh, website what, uh, how you want it to, do, to rewrite the titles, the up part titles of your website. Now, the reason this is important is because this is what's gonna show up like on the search engine results of Google. So if I go to like google.com, and I go to PC, if I type in PC Michiana, which is my current website, this is what my title of my main page is. So if I go back to the SEO pack, 
for the post title format, that's not what I'm talking about here, page title format, we have the page title, which in my case, it's PC Michiana, the PC Michiana Tech Help Show, and then what they decided to do was add the blog title after that, so whatever blog title they're looking at. Personally, I would probably just keep it the page title, and I believe that's what I did on my site. So that way, the only thing that shows up when you actually do a Google search for PC Michiana is my main website name. Now, if we're going to look at the post title, what they did here was they had the name of the post you're looking at, and then the actual uh, title of your blog. Personally, I think post title is enough. You know, you don't want too many words in the title of your description, so let's limit that. So we'll just have the post title and the page title. Category titles, we can go ahead and do that for both of them, Leave because the, categories are usually small, that's fine. Archive titles, of course we want the date and the blog title, that's fine. Uh, tag title is uh, the tag and the blog title, that's fine. Search is search in the blog title, that's fine. Uh, and of course description is just the description of your page, so that's fine, we can leave that in there. Uh, and this is something, if uh, they type something into your website and if that page isn't found, it'll say nothing is found for and it'll use whatever words they typed in. So we'll go ahead and leave that. And then uh, page format is you know, part one of one, two of three, three of three. They take care of that for you too. Uh, search SEO for custom post types. Go ahead and leave that unchecked. Use categories for meta keywords. Go ahead and leave that unchecked. Use tags. Yes, we want to do that. We want to dynamically generate keywords for post pages, of course. Uh, use no index for categories, no index for archives, and no index for tab tabs can be leave left undone. And now this lets you actually exclude certain pages and posts from the search engine optimization. If one page is giving you issues, then uh, obviously you want to exclude it here, and you can type it in there. And uh, it'll let you also also add other stuff here. Now most of this you're not going to use. The, the, once you've set this up once, you're not going to go back and do it again. You might come back and change your title and description and things like that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Come up with what you can the best and uh, just go with that from the beginning. Now, let me show you what the post title looks like. If I go to my website now, and then I select the post title, you'll see at the top of my post, the first thing you see is the how to make money online blogging over, overview of the WordPress layout feature. See, I just left my page title out of it. That way, this is what shall, will show up in the Google search engines, this title here. People usually don't care that it's from my website at that point, or they can just look at the search results URL which actually shows it right below. Hang on one second. As you can see from right here, see it says PCMichiana.com. So I didn't. I just decided no sense in putting PC Michiana more than one time. Keeps the title smaller and it makes it look better. So let me go ahead and go back to the all-in-one SEO. Scroll down to the bottom. Click Update Options. And that will actually enable your search engine optimization. So when I go back to my first blog, first thing that shows up at the top is my first blog. So if I click on Hello World, now my titles are written as Hello World. So this is how they're going to show up in the search engines for Google. And that's pretty much all there is to this episode. I just wanted to show you guys how to set up the search engine optimization plugin. It's absolutely essential when you're building your website friendly for search engines. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you get a chance, swing by the forum. I've been asked by my fans to plug it as much as I can. And uh, sign up. Just come right here and uh, you'll click register right here and uh, enter your username and password. You can enter... And Enter any questions you may have, and uh, hopefully I can get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again.